Hi, I'm Scott Flowers from Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on VMware. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. So this video is specifically focused on VMware ESXi. So we're gonna start by listing the compatible versions. which are gonna be 6.5, 6.7, 7.0, and 8.0. Within the first three, it does accept all three different versions, all the way up to V3 on those. And as we're releasing this right now, we're still on the first version of 8.0, and I'm sure it'll work for other versions in the future. So do us a favor, if a new version comes out and it is compatible, let's keep this video relevant. Drop a comment down below to help out users down the line. So all right, well, we're going to do in this video and all you're going to need for this video is a USB drive. And what we're going to do is put in our description section an ISO file that again, if that becomes outdated and there's a new one, let us know. and We'll continue to put it on there for people. But you're going to take the ISO file. You're going to turn your USB into a bootable USB. You're going to put your ISO file on this. And then we're going to show you step by step instructions on exactly how to install it into your ProLiant. So let's go ahead and hop into the fun part. All right. So now we're going to show you how to install VMware ESXi 703 onto your HPE ProLiant Gen 10 server. So you're going to need a bootable USB with a VMware ISO mounted onto it. You're gonna need at least eight gigs of RAM and you're gonna need a hard drive or solid state drive with at least 32 gigabytes or higher configured to RAID. Also, one other thing is to make sure your system is in UEFI boot mode. All right, let's get going. So during the boot menu, you're gonna press F11 and from there, you're gonna want to select your desired USB. In our instance, the USB will be front USB 2, and that will be the one that we are gonna to want to select. Now, what will happen from here is this will begin loading the installation media, and it may take a few minutes for this to complete, so you might need to sit back for just a second here. And once everything has finished loading, you're gonna be brought to VMware's welcome screen where you can press enter to view your end user license agreement. Press F11 to accept and continue. The system will scan for devices, and this will bring you to a screen where you will be able to select the drive you want to install VMware onto. Here we will select HP Logical Volume. Select your desired keyboard layout and set a password and press enter. From here, you'll be given a couple of options. You can cancel, go back, or install. Press F11 to start the install. It'll take a few minutes for everything to finish. Once it has finalized, you'll see a screen indicating that the installation is complete. Remove your installation media from the system and press enter to reboot. After rebooting, VMware will load and your install will officially be finished. You've done it, you've installed VMware SXI onto your Gen 10 server. Well, hey, if you made it this far, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built HPE, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home apps business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. Thanks for stopping by guys, take care.